So today we got a UD2000 cab over rollback. Complaint of no crank, no start. Nothing. Now I don't know if you can hear it. We do have a relay clicking over there and we do we'll key off for a second. Key on. We get all our telltale lights, so that's good. So I wanted to make it as easy on myself as possible. We pulled a schematic and went through. So we got our main power feed coming up into our fusible link block. And then we got those two feeds power out to everything else basically. Stay in place here. So that's the box right down here. So we got a 50 amper that comes all the way up, feeds our ignition relay, common which then goes out to our ECM, our uh, daytime running lights, automatic transmission module, air dryer, meter, PTO, all that's functional. Starter relay is where it branches off to as well. So right there, we follow that down, comes up into our ignition switch, and we send power out. So from there, goes through our park neutral, down to the relay coil, and then also feeds out to the engine ECU and the DRL's separate secondary circuit. So, because uh, this thing broke down at the gas station actually, I had already confirmed that I've got no power coming to the starter solenoid right here. So we had a question here. We were confident that we had power at least up to here. And so, it came to be a matter of checking out our output here, our park neutral switch, down to our relay. Our secondary trace here is just another power feed coming straight down to the common for the starter relay, our pin 30. So the easiest thing to do, once I located it, was to test right at the starter relay, and that'll allow me to break down the system into easy parts instead of trying to chase it all around, instead of trying to, you know, take apart the uh, shifter mechanism, which is up here. I mean, it wouldn't be terrible, but I wasn't super keen on doing that. So, this took a little bit to find. It's actually hidden right up behind here, right by your glow plug relay. Uh, the component locator had it located either down here or all the way back by the ABS module, which it was not. So anyway, what we got here is we're back probed. Our white wire here is our main power feed. That's our pin 30 of the relay. Our black with the white tracer is actually gonna be the one that goes out down to the starter solenoid itself. We got coil positive for the relay and coil negative for the relay. So, we do know it's a 10 amp circuit. So, I've got a four and a half amp test light here hooked up to ground and we're going to check our pins. Let's get this out of the way and see if I can set you guys up here. Lost you for a second. Come on. All right, so we're gonna try our relay coil positive first. All right, so that's good. Next, we go, for sake of ease, let's go to our input so that's our 50 amper straight out of the box comes all the way to here as the common feed for the relay so we're good there holds four amps pretty confident and then let's try our output now this is helping us eliminate entire sections of the schematic 
So let's get you guys set up here again. Let's see if we can balance this. Come on. Uh, yeah. All right. And we have no output. So, looking at the schematic, we know that this is a constant ground, this is a constant power. We confirmed our power. We did not confirm our ground on the relay yet, so we do have switch power. We've got power here. Last thing we have is our ground side. Now, once again, this is a... Give me a second here. Bear with me. 10 amp circuit, so I can feel pretty confident about taking my test light to ground, no good. We got nothing. So, what do we do? Well, we're gonna go from our ground here Got the jumper wire hooked up to ground. And we're going to feed that straight in. Or attempt to. There we go. And. Good to go. So once again, what we did was. We took what we already knew, what had to be working because of other components of the vehicle, narrowed it down to the easiest place to split the rest of the system was down at the starter relay. We confirmed our uh, terminal 30, our power feed, common was good. We confirmed that our switched power was good, so that took out having to take apart the uh, shifter assembly to get to the park neutral switch. That confirmed wiring integrity through the ignition switch, so we took all that out right off the bat. And then we weren't getting power out here, so what was the last thing left? We got common feed, we've got switch power, we gotta check our ground. Our ground's broken, so I'm gonna be running a new wire there. I actually found the brake, so I may or may not repair it. It's in, in a bad spot, it may be easier to just run a brand new one all the way up to this alternator splice. But point here is with good schematic reading, knowing how the system works or being able to infer it from the schematic, and then sitting there and seeing how much you can eliminate out of your testing routine, you can get something like this, whether it be, you know, cab over truck like this, a piece of equipment, bigger tractor there, or a car, you can narrow everything down pretty damn quickly. So hopefully that helps somebody out and hope you guys enjoyed it. Have a good one.